So today what I'm going to do is go over with you sheet metal development and specifically something called simple box development. So we cannot go to a new part up here. We're going to start off with an IPT, but we're going to start off with a special IPT. We're going to start off with a sheet metal IPT. So this is something we haven't done before. We're going to go ahead and select that and just click on OK if we don't have a new area there. And we're going to start off just like anything else. We're going to start off with a sketch. So on this sketch, I'm going to start off with it sitting on the XZ plane. So I'm going to start off with an XZ plane. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to click my uh, wheel forward a few times. And I'm going to get my rectangle tool, which is right up here. And I'm going to start at absolute zero. And I'm going to start off with a four by eight. So I'm going to go four, tab, eight, and enter. And so I have this four by eight rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch. And I'm either going to hit F5, F6 or I'm going to use my doghouse up here to do this. Now, this is important because we've got to understand we're not going to do an extrusion here. What we're going to do is we're going to make this a sheet piece of sheet metal. So to make this a piece of sheet metal, we've got to go in and we've got to change the thickness. So we're not going to use this thickness. We're going to use a different thickness. And what I want to use is I want to use the thickness of 24 gauge steel. So 24 gauge steel is right here. We look up a gauge to thickness chart and you'll see here there is um, gauge, fraction, stainless, galvanized sheet metal, and aluminum. Aluminum generally goes for non-ferrous metals. So we're going to look at steel sheet metal here at 24 gauge, which is going to be 0239. 0239 is what we're going to be using. So we're going to go ahead and unclick the thickness from rule. And we're going to put in here 0329. And we're going to go apply. And we're going to apply that. And then we're going to go ahead and cancel out, close that out. Now what we have to do is we have to make this, we don't extrude it, but we're going to make it a face. So we're going to click on face here. And that makes it a face. And we're going to apply that. And go ahead and close that out. And you can see that it's fairly thin here, right? All right, so now that's great. Well, what can we do with this? Well, we're going to make it a simple box, and we're going to do this a, an easy way. We can do a couple of different things here, and I'm going to show you some things. We can actually start with a sketch on here, and we can draw a line. I'm just going to draw a line anywhere from edge to edge, and I'm going to say finish that sketch. And I can go in here, and I can use, I want to say bend. Uh, no, not bend. I'm going to use fold. So if I use fold, I can go ahead and I can apply that and it will fold up like this. Um, there's actually an easier way to do this. Now, if you're just making a simple bend on a piece of flat stock, then that would be what you would use. You would use the fold tool. You would put a sketch on there and use the fold tool. But we're actually not going to do that. And what we are going to do Okay, we're going to come back here. We're going to do this the easy way. I like easy. I've always told you guys I like easy. Easy is good, right? So what we're going to do is up here, we've got some other tools. We've got something called the flange. tool. Now, if you were doing just a bend, you'd have to make your sheet metal. You'd have to plan it out big enough to start with. Here, what we've got is we've got just the base. And to add a flange, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this. Let's go ahead and make this a two-inch flange. And so what we can do here is we're just going to select an edge and that's going to pop that up there. And if you select the other edge, it'll take it down. So you got to make sure that we take the right edge here. I'm going to zoom in on this. See, I'm taking that top edge right there. And that's going to make this flange go up. Now you can see that there are some corners in there. And what the sheet metal does is it automatically applies that. If we didn't apply that, what would happen is that we'd get this binding up in here, and uh, it really would not like that. So we're going to close that out. Now, because 24 gauge steel, and this is usually cold rolled steel, what we call cold rolled. Cold rolled is when it comes out of the factory, it's cold, and what they do is they send it through a number of rollers as cold steel. It's not actually hot. 
Um, a lot of uh, when you go to the store and you get angle iron or you get flat stock and you see it with a black area on it, that is called hot rolled steel. This happens to be cold rolled, so um, it is stiffer, uh, has a higher carbon content. So because this is so sharp up here, these are it's very thin, it's very sharp, it's going to cut us. So we're going to add a hem, just like we do on the bottom of a skirt or pants leg or whatever the case might be. So I'm going to put that hem on the outside here, and I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to go outside here and apply that. And you can see that it's putting these nice hems on here. And uh, Inventor is pretty intuitive, so I can go ahead and take that on the outside there and on the outside there. So now I've got this nice box here. And it's really very simple. And all we do is we're going to un unfold it and we have ourselves a box. But before we do that, let's just add a couple of other things here just real quick, just, just for kicks and giggles. We've got this cut, cut tool and we've got a punch tool up here. I'm going to show you that just real quickly. If we put a sketch in here, okay, and we put a polygon, let's just throw a polygon right in here. And we'll just throw it in anywhere. Okay. And also we'll just for kicks and giggles, we'll throw a point in here because we're going to do something else with that. And we're going to finish that sketch. And then if we use the cut tool, we'll come over here, we'll select that area right there. And we'll go, okay. And we'll cut that right on out. And that leaves that area in there. Now we don't have our center anymore because it's been consumed. So if we go over to our browser bar over here, we can go ahead and we can share that sketch. So we're going to share that sketch and we're going to go to the punch tool. And with the punch tool, we have all these different shapes here. We're just going to take this round emboss for now. And we're just going to double click on that and it's already going to find that center right there. And we're going to go, hey, finish that off and look at that. So what it does is it takes that and it punches that. And that's how your soda cans and things of that sort are made. They're either made with a draw or they're made with a punch, um, something of that nature. And that's how those things are made. So um, just kind of a neat thing there. Um, you can actually, you know, find some other punch tools in there. You can, they come out as these uh, eye features in here and you can get other types and import them in and you can do all sorts of punches. Okay, so we're going to cancel that out. Now, the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a flat pattern. And look at that. So these dash lines here, those are dash lines as to where things are bent. And you can see here that this is called a relief punch area. This is a relief punch so that it relieves that area. And you can see right here that Inventor automatically puts in some of these sizes here. So pretty cool right there. That is doing a sheet metal IPT and we can go back to the folded pattern this way or we can go ahead back to the, to the flat pattern here and so on and so on and so on. And so it makes it, um, it, makes it very easy to work with. Um, at this point, you would go ahead and you would add this to, um, to a drawing and I will show you that in another video, how to put that onto a drawing. So I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, we can roll things too. We can make things rolled up. We can curl things up. We can do all sorts of different things. There's all sorts of neat things in here that you can do with this. And there are plenty of other videos on, um, on YouTube and other places that will show you how to do really cool stuff with sheet metal. So I hope you enjoyed this.